So, today I am going to talk on what is life purpose, right? What is the meaning of life purpose? What are the benefits of knowing your life purpose? Why you are finding it difficult to find your life purpose? And what you can do to find your life purpose? So, सबसे पहले, what is the meaning of life purpose? It is the central motivating aim because of which you get up every morning. Because of your life purpose, you make decisions in life. You look forward to life. It gives you a meaning. It gives you a direction. Right? And it forms the basis of all your, you know, goal setting and decision making. There is a very famous actor and politician, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He said that the purpose of life is to just win. He said life is not just about existence. It is not about just surviving. It is about going ahead moving up, achieving and conquering. There is a 16th century poet from France, François. He said that the purpose of life is to seek a great. Means that you have to search God and that is the purpose of life. There is an American author, Joseph Campbell, he said, there is no sense of asking this question because life has got no purpose. It is we who give a meaning to life. Everyone is contributing to life because of who they are. One thing you will all agree with me that there is one purpose that life has got which you can see around you and that is survival. And that is what makes us get up every morning. Yes or no? That is the reason we wake up, we go to work. And that is the reason we take care of our families. Because the families also support us. That is the reason we make friends. It is the reason we live in a society. Because this is the primal instinct that I have to live, I have to survive. So one purpose of life, what we know is survival. Now this purpose is ingrained in our root chakra, the Muladhar chakra. And this purpose is there in all the living beings. Whether it is plants, animals, birds, humans, everybody. But then there is another purpose of life, which is creativity. Every living being wants to be creative. Yes or no? And the primal instinct of creation comes from the children they produce. Everyone produces an offspring. They produce something of their own. And you will see the whole world is full of creativity. You see how many different type of flowers are there. How many different type of animals are there. Insects are there. Amphibians are there. Land animals are there. We all are humans, but none of them looks similar to any other. And whatever work you do is so creative. If you are an artist, you don't want to repeat your already, what you already did. Yes or no? If you are a painter, you will never want to do the same painting. If you are an interior designer, you don't want to make the same house. If you are a teacher, you don't want to teach the next class exactly like that. A garment retailer will like to keep different, different garments. A singer will like to sing different, different songs. So we know that the creative instinct is also one purpose of survival. And this is ingrained in our Swadishthan Chakra. The third purpose of survival, what we know is power. Everyone wants dominance. They want power. They want to do things as per what they think is right. So, if you see a family unit, there is a leader, head. Sometimes it is a male member and in some communities it is a female. Even in animals. 
the lion can be the head. In animals, the people travel in groups, in herds. So when they travel in herds, there is always one chief leader whom the whole herd follows. So one is power and domination, which starts from the family, then society. Every society wants to dominate over the other society, that we are superior and things should happen as per us. Then it is not only society, it happens in cultures, that people want to dominate as per their culture. Sometimes the domination is because of superior knowledge and sometimes it is because of numbers. Then this domination also happens between countries. So this domination is also a purpose of life that we all want to be powerful. And this trait is ingrained in our Manipur Chakra. The fourth purpose of life as we know is fulfillment of desires. Everyone has desires which they want to fulfill. So in these desires they are born basically out of love. Right? And love also becomes a primal desire. So in animals, the mother wants to take care of the child. So she will want to do whatever possible for the child. Bring it good food, right? train it, see the child grow, enjoy with the family, right? enjoy the beautiful scenery around. A fish will not just live, it will enjoy its environment. If you put it in a small fish tank, definitely it's not as happy as it would be in a lake. So everyone has desires. And if you look carefully, the desires are born out of love. Whatever you are doing, ultimately it is for the other person. If an apple tree is producing lot of apples, is it eating the apples? If a cow is producing milk, is it drinking its own milk? If today you are practicing so much to sing, are you singing for yourself? If I have so much knowledge, what will I do with the knowledge I have to impart? If you are a very good engineer, for whom are you making the products? Definitely for others. So this love is also a desire which brings a kind of connectedness. It tries to show that whatever you do is actually for the other person. That is also a purpose of life. That is why many times if you ask, what do you think is the purpose of life? So people say it is to help others because they are talking about this desire. Many people, you know, if you ask them what is your purpose, they say, I want to make people happy. I like that. I want to work for others. I want to make the world a better place. So even this is a purpose of life. And another purpose of life is express yourself. Everyone wants to express in its own unique way. The cuckoo will sing very beautifully. The peacock will dance very beautifully. Right? Every animal will express itself, every you know, bird will express itself, every fish will express itself. You know, life has not made all the fishes of the same color, all the birds exactly as they are. The colors are not just white and black. There are all colors which are sprinkled across the whole universe. And everyone wants to express. A singer is looking for an audience. A poet is looking for an audience. A teacher is looking for students. A politician is looking for his subjects. So everyone has got this inherent purpose fed inside him that I want to express myself. And this is a trait of the Vishuddha Chakra. So I have talked about all the five chakras. Survival, Muladhar, Creativity, Swadishthan power Manipur, desire Anahat and express Vishuddha. But understand one thing, all the animals, plants, humans, everyone has got these five desires, right? But human beings have two more, which are separate from animals, which animals don't have. 
Now to find that, understand one thing. If you were happy and blissful all the time, will you ask this question, what is the purpose of my life? It's only when life becomes very burdensome, you will step back and say, does this life have any purpose? Why am I living? It is human beings who have got this ability to perceive that I am getting what I want, but still I am not feeling very fulfilled. Even if I am getting some goal, what I wanted to achieve, it is not making me feel eternally happy. Even after one goal, another goal is around the corner and I am again running for it. So human being has the power of perception. They don't have just two eyes, they have got a third eye, the Agya Chakra. So human beings are able to see the world in a tangential manner to see that actually am I satisfied with my life or there is something more to life. So whether they are coveting some job or they are wanting to start some business or they want to buy a property or they are seeking power, name, fame, they will realize after a time that they are not giving me permanent happiness and after some time I will again start feeling empty. So human beings have got that type of sensory power because of it they can step back from these five primal desires to actually ask what is the true purpose of life. And then human beings whenever they face any problem or a trauma, right, they start you know asking is there a higher power who is in control and they know I am not in control of my life after some time, I am not running my life, there is somebody else running my life. They start realizing there is something called hope, something called faith and it is human beings who start looking upwards, that is why I think it is only human beings who stand because their top chakras are connected to God. Because a time comes when they realize there is a connection, there is some connection with some higher power. Somebody is running my life and I have to surrender and that is the crown chakra. So it is the Agya chakra and the crown chakra which separate the human being from other living animals and plants and birds etc. So what is the purpose of life? There is a saying that if you are not growing, you are dying. If something becomes stagnant, it starts attracting parasites, worms, bacteria, infestation, predators, which will suck up its pran and kill it. We have to understand growth is natural to life and that's why growth is very addictive. So we have to know that it's not the fulfillment of goals which is making you happy. It is how much you are growing because of the goals that is making you happy. So we can say that if there is one thing that is giving you fulfillment is life. If there is one thing which is giving you fulfillment in life is growth. So we have to know that ultimately life is calling you to grow. From the time you were born, you are only growing. You are born with actually no knowledge of even A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4. Every single person has to learn. You go to school, you learn. As you grow up, you learn the lessons of getting along with people. You learn the lessons of how to live in a society, how to behave with people. You learn everything from scratch, you know. Whatever holy books we have got, all of them are just teaching. Every master comes, every guru comes, every teacher comes, he is also teaching. So, you can see from childhood till you die, you are only learning. So you have to understand that growth is the nature of life and you are born with a clean slate and you learn everything in life. 
you learn from being a child to being a student to being a friend to being a worker to being a spouse to being a parent to being a grandparent you are learning in life all the time and that is the purpose of life the purpose of life is to grow you into your full potential the purpose of life is to make you realize who you are life flows with the intention you are more if you become stagnant in life you will have pain anxiety and fear you will become envious of other people who are growing but if you are growing definitely you are more fulfilled you are satisfied you are happy you are basically made up of four consciousness body mind identity and soul each aspect is growing in body you see your body is also growing and you are learning growing means you are learning different aspects of the body consciousness you are learning in your own physical self also what are the capabilities of your body you are learning how to tame your body how to take care of your body and how to train your body if you look around even the body consciousness has done so many things if you see the acrobats if you see the sports people if you see the soldiers if you see you know people who have done so many miracles in life they have reached so much of epitome in their life because of their physical body so body is also realizing you are more so body also realizes its full potential by you are more the mind mind i'm not telling about your mind i'm telling about the collective mind if you see the mind is there a limit to knowledge it's continuously growing continuously the knowledge is increasing what era we are in today technology and the mind and the knowledge is just infinite we are creating robots we are creating you know machines which become equal to us and maybe more intelligent in some forms so the mind and the knowledge is also continuously growing and realizing you are more identity every single person is playing different different roles you are playing different roles in your career in your personal life in your social life and everywhere you are realizing you are more don't think the purpose of life is just your business or job no it is your whole life today the purpose of life for you is not just realizing yourself as a very good you know artist or very good politician or very good uh, you know manager it is also how you have realized yourself as a parent as a spouse as a child as a friend everywhere that is the purpose so in our own case you are realizing your identity in different role plays but if you look around that this identity different different identities are continuously breaking borders and realizing their completeness apart from the identities identities means everyone is playing a different role everyone has got a unique thumbprint everyone is doing a different type of job in this world and lastly soul everyone is reaching the same source but in different ways someone is reaching through his religion someone is reaching through bhakti yoga to gyan yoga karma yoga and this is infinite so the purpose of life is realization of you are more life flows with the intention to make you realize your full potential because every single person is a creativity of the creator 
and life wants you to realize that creativity of the creator to its highest potential. And once you get attuned to it, whatever five purposes we have spoken will come into play. That you have to live for your survival, you have to live for your creativity, you have to exhibit your power, you have to do for others and you have to express yourself. But what you need to be connected to is that life is flowing with the intention of my realization that I am more. Ultimately, where life is concerned, life doesn't even have this intention. It is the nature of life to make you realize you are more. Life ka koi uddeshya nahi hai, uska koi intention ya purpose nahi hai. Life ka nature hai ki wo bas create karti rahe rahe hai. It is just creating. It is just creating different aspects of the creator to realize you are more. See, understand one thing, when life is flowing with that intention, right? So when it comes to you, you break it into small intentions. Okay, now how? So suppose this intention of life you are more, you bring it down into your personal life. In all role plays of your life, you will realize how I am more in that. As a mother, how I can be the best mother? How as a wife, I can be the best wife? How as a businessman, I can be the best businessman? How as an employer, I can be the best employer? How as a friend, I can be the best friend? Right? So when you break it down into yourself, you will realize that every situation is actually trying to make you the best version of yourself. Even your child is teaching you, your spouse is teaching you, your parent is teaching you, your employees are teaching you, your friends are teaching you. It is teaching you what is your true nature. Because that realization will take you where? Where will that realization take you? It will take you to the source. It will take you to who you are truly. All the rivers are finally going towards the ocean. Similarly, every soul is finally going to merge into that omnipresent consciousness. So what stops us from connecting to our life purpose? Again, there are five things. First, fear of the Mooladhar Chakra, which is fear of instability and insecurity. Because we are not connected to that intention of life, we start feeling that our purpose of life is survival. And we start you know, vibrating with the fears of instability and insecurity. This makes us cling on to life. We cling on to unfulfilling job or unhealthy relationships. Because we are basically just living for survival and not for our growth, not for our progress. And to come out of this fear, we have to definitely introspect we have to meditate, we have to get the right guidance and we have to connect to what is the purpose of life. Right? So that is what we call Mooladhar Chakra Balancing. That the person has to realize that my purpose of life is something different, it's not survival. And he has to realize that it is the nature of life to support me. I will always be supported. I was born in the arms of a mother, right? And every moment of my life, I will be supported. Supported for what? Realization of my full potential. So life is going to support you whatever happens. Life tells you, I am there beneath your feet. Do, I am there. Even if you fall, you will fall in my lap that much of connection with the earth we all should have. A mother sends her child to school. You study, you do everything, I'm there, I will pay your fees, I will take care of you, right? You just go and study. And that's what life tells you. You just progress, I'm there for you. 
I will give you food, clothing, shelter, support system. You just study. That's it. But that connection has to come, right? And that is why we do Mooladhar Chakra meditation, knowledge, etc. in our workshops. That you have to connect to the supporting nature of this grand life which has created you in the image of the creator. The second reason you are not able to connect to the purpose of life is self-doubt. It is the fears of the Swadishta or the sacral chakra. The stories that you are telling yourself will either propel you or they will put you down. If you doubt yourself, I am not good enough, I do not deserve, I have not done what was expected of me, I am not safe, I am not getting my due, life is not kind to me, there is something wrong with me. These kind of beliefs, they create limitations and you end up self-sabotaging yourself. So again, you have to work on balancing your Swadishtan Chakra. You have to get the knowledge of the Swadishtan Chakra. You have to meditate on the Swadishtan Chakra. You have to release the fears of the Swadishtan Chakra to realize that life is desperate for you to realize yourself. I always think of life like this, that if you see different seeds of different plants, if you put one seed in the mud, right, it will flower into a tree and you will come to know which seed it was. Similarly, every single person in the world is a seed, that potential is already inside you and the soil is this earth. You have to water it. Right? You have to nurture it and grow into your full blossoming self. You are being realized. You do not even have to realize yourself. So, once you honor yourself, once you accept yourself, you remove one of the blocks which are stopping you from connecting to the purpose of life. The third reason that prevents you from connecting to your life purpose is dependency. If you perceive that I am dependent on someone for my life or for my survival, definitely you lose your power. You will live as per the other person. You will take decisions based on the other person. You will be controlled by the other person. You will have expectations from the other person. And along with dependency comes responsibility also, which is called codependency. Either you are responsible for someone or you are dependent on someone. That also makes you lose power. And if there is some other person in your life because of which you are running your own life, how can you find your life purpose? So the solution is to internalize yourself, is to connect to yourself, is to realize that everything that you need to live in this life is inside you. Everything is inside you and you have to start taking all the relationships like partnerships, equal give and take and this is a support system given to you by life. The fourth reason is mistrust. Today, you know, if you have so much of mistrust on life, right, you will close your heart to life and your heart is like the green signal. If the signal is on, traffic is flowing and if the heart is closed, you cannot experience anything, you cannot connect to life, you cannot connect to your life purpose. You will live your life just with you know, unfulfillment, expectations and control. So, it is very important to work on creating that bond with life, creating that trust and faith on life. And the fifth reason that why you cannot find your life purpose is because you are comparing with others. If you feel someone else is more happier or someone else is more endowed, 
or someone else is more achieved right you will start running to fulfill your desires as per what the person has and you will be disconnected with what you need to have so comparison definitely takes you away from your life purpose and because of this your vishuddha chakra gets blocked so now what are the benefits of knowing your life purpose what are the benefits of following your life purpose so the benefits of knowing your life purpose or living your life purpose or being aligned to your life purpose are first you will be more focused without a life purpose you will be like a rudderless boat and once you know your life purpose it will be more meaningful it will be more intentional and you will make your goals as per your life purpose so today if life purpose is realizing myself as a teacher you love teaching so your goal will be that yes after some time i want to set up a tuition center i want to set up a school or i want to work as a principal your goal will be very focused no if you are a singer you will also think i'll make my album right if you are a healer you will think okay i want to make a nice resort i want to make a ashram i want to make a community of people who align with my teachings so you will be definitely more focused no second you will be more resilient in times of trouble there is a german philosopher friedrich he said that in life if you possess the why you will automatically know the how means if you know why i am here you will know how to get there so you have to understand that once you are focused on your you know life purpose and your goals every problem will seem to train you seem to teach you because ultimately you have to go there so you will have more grit you will have more determination you will have more fortitude more resilience to achieve your goals your decision making will be quicker and better because the decision will be totally aligned to it will have a direction most people in the world are suffering because they are just going for survival and because they go for survival automatically the pains and the fears and the insecurities grip them so whenever you are faced with any decision you will see whether it is aligned towards your goals or it is taking you away from your goals and based on that you will take your decision whether it is moving your child to a school whether it is shifting closer to office whether it is buying a car whether it is buying a big house whether it is buying a second house whether it is buying material assets you will see whether i am growing because of it or not you will not see that it is serving my desires or it is fulfilling me you will see whether i am growing because of this or not because whatever you do in life is there to grow you why you live in a better house why because it will give you more comfort more peace of mind so you can have a better sleep and perform better why instead of train you should go in your car is because you will have peace of mind you will perform better why your children should have you know a proper study room why they should have proper tuition why they should have good facilities because they will study better the day you focus that my focus is because we want to realize our potential things start happening to you it's not that you know your decision is not based because of fear or it's not based because of lust it is based on your life purpose the fourth benefit you can create and you can maintain healthy boundaries you will know how to say no to things which don't serve your life purpose why people are spending so much of energy here and there because they don't know their life purpose and they don't know what they will do with the money so okay i will give to this i'll give to him oh why you have to give to him why not spend towards your life purpose so if you know your life purpose you know when to say no 
without guilt when to make your boundary and when to stretch your limit or extend yourself because it is going towards your life purpose so you will have more energy more passion towards your goals you cannot be everything to everyone otherwise you will burn out so today if in your life purpose you see yourself being a good mother or good dutiful wife you will do things which serve your family not expend your life in other things right because you are very focused on that you are focused on realization of self potential so you are not distracted in pleasures or you are not distracted in pleasing others you are not worried what others will say because your focus is i want to live my purpose definitely when you are aligned to your purpose you are happier you are healthier because you are in yourself you have prana you have energy you have passion most of the people who know their life purpose according to a study have better heart health have better you know state of the mind and people who are just distracted they get into addictions illusions and they lose their health another benefit is you will have better connections and better friendships because now you know yourself so you will understand the other person also so because of that you will be able to connect with your own community you will connect the pe with people who are like you so you will form definitely better connections and most important benefit of knowing your life purpose is you will be prosperous it is written in all the books that when you live your passion when you live who truly are you will definitely be prosperous if you see our hindu dharma is represented by vishnu and who sits with vishnu who presses his feet lakshmi she comes and presses his feet you must be tired following your life purpose i am pressing your feet but what is the life purpose is shiva mahadev he is who you truly are ultimately we have to reach the source ultimately we have to merge with shiva shivoham ultimately whatever is there in front of you the life in front of you is prakriti prakriti wants you to realize the shiva and once you realize the shiva prakriti and shiva will merge together life is flowing with the intention that your kundalini will rise your ida pingla will merge shiva and shakti have to merge together and shiva is your true self shakti is your prakriti and i am telling you it is such a magical thing don't take it lightly it is such a magical thing the day you start connecting with your life purpose that i am here only to realize my full potential magic will start happening in your life you will start working in a company not because you want to earn money not because you want name and fame and you want everyone to know what a good person you are you will work because you are realizing your potential that dependency on the company will go whether you like me whether you scold me i am working for myself the day you work for yourself people will start seeing that magnetism that charm that he doesn't want us is you no know, they will start seeing that this person doesn't care he is not dependent he is not compromising he is not sacrificing we lose him if we don't nurture him so start working in your company for realizing your potential start doing a business not because you want to feed your family or you want to take care of your employees start doing business because you are realizing your potential you are blessed to be a human because humans are the only species who can be a witness to this grand process of self realization and they can realize themselves as god god is so kind he is so loving he will not tell i am god and you are a human he will say no 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 i am also human and you are also god he is so kind he is so surrendered he is so compassionate he is so loving and he is nothing 
So you have to, you know, connect to this purpose of life, which is flowing so that you self-realize. And in every aspect of your life, you should be connected. I am telling you, even if I tell this another hundred more times, you will still take another hundred days to get it into your mindset. It is not easy. Because again, what will happen? You will be a parent because you want marks. The child should give me marks. I should be proud. I should tell everybody, see my son, you go 85%. You want your husband to do well because salary, position, I am manager's wife. Because you will again forget. You will again forget. It takes a lot of time to get tuned to that I am working to realize myself as a mother. How I can be the best mother. Today he is my child. In some other birth, somebody else was my child. And next birth, I will have some other child. So don't be connected with the child. Be connected to yourself. How can I be the best version? How I can be like the creator? Does the creator control you? The God above is also your mother and father. Tabhi to pray karte oh mother, oh father. Does he control you? Does he have expectations from you? Does he judge you? Does he put you down? Does he compare you with others? Then why are you doing? He is so compassionate. He is so kind. He is so forgiving. He is so patient. He has so much faith in you. You be like that. Be like that with your child. Be like that with your spouse. Be like that with your friends. Be like that with your juniors. Be like that with your seniors. And the God above is powerful also. If you see, all the gods are killing some demons. Every god has got weapons. Hanumanji has got a gada. Our Shivji has got a trishul. Durgaji has got a sword. You know, they have got khadag, trishul, discus, all different types of weapons. Why? Because you have to cut the negativity. And the negativity is shown like a demon, Rakshas. So all the gods are destroying some negativity. Sometimes they are riding over the negativity. Like Durga is riding over lion. Ganesha is riding a mouse. Shiv is riding a bull. Now these are all metaphoric representation of negativity. Lion is a fear. Mouse is lust. Shiv is riding the bull, which is supposed to be so stubborn, so egoistic, and a bull-headed. Kartikeya rides the peacock, because peacock is said to be proud, as proud as a peacock. He says, I am the god of the senses, but better don't be proud. Lakshmi ji is sitting on a lotus, and where is the lotus? In a dirty pond. She says, the dirt is below you, but you are not going to touch the dirt, you are going to be in a pristine lotus. Life is dirty. Life will always have muck. You have to be pure. Because you are getting nurtured because of the dirt. You have become who you are because there was some need, because there was some vacuum. Today, I would not be standing here if there was not ignorance. If everybody knew what I was teaching, what is my role play? Today, a person will become an artist because people are searching for some beauty in life. Some person will become an engineer and he will make some nice machine because people need to make their life easier. There is some trouble. So whenever there is a trouble, whenever there is a problem, that necessity is the creator of inventions. So that necessity right, is created because of the muck. There is a problem, so a lotus is coming out. And the lotus is so fertile because of the muck. So you have to, in every dimension of your life, you have to be connected to your true intention of realizing your full potential, realizing who are more. Even when you are dealing with a client, right? When you are trying to do some business with a client, it not be that I want to make a sale. I want to make him happy. I want to serve him. It should be I am living my role play. I am realizing my potential how to negotiate, how to convince, how to make the sale. Not because I want money. 
एंड दैट वॉज कृष्ण हैज टोल्ड वेरी ब्यूटिफुली अपना कर्म कर फल की इच्छा मत देख और हम सब क्या देख रहे हैं फल 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 अच्छा फल बुरा फल एंड एवरी पर्सन आई आस्क वाई इज द टीचर टीचिंग द स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट दैट चिल्ड्रन गेट गुड मार्क्स एंड देन द प्रिंसिपल इज हैप्पी द पेरेंट्स आर हैप्पी I'm trying to make a sale because I want the customer to buy so that I get a good incentive or I'm not removed from the company. The company is doing a business because it wants to make profit. Everyone has got a intention. Stop looking at the fruit. Stop looking at the fruit and that is the meaning of Mahamitinje mantra of our dear Lord Shiv. वेनी सेज ओम त्रयम बकम यजा महे सुगंधिम पुष्टि वर्धनम उर्वा रुकुमिव बंदना मृत्योर मुक्षी अमृता द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस मंत्र इज दैट जस्ट लाइक अ क्रीपर राइट अ क्रीपर विल प्रोड्यूस द फ्रूट एंड मेक इट फुल ऑफ सुगंध पुष्टि हेल्थ एंड फ्रेग्रेंस द मोमेंट द क्रीपर सीज दैट इट इज राइप द क्रीपर डिटैचेस फ्रॉम इट the creeper detaches itself from the fruit because if it will not detach somebody will try to pull the fruit and then the creeper will also die so make us like that three eyed god that omni present god that god who knows everything oh please bless us so today if you are going for the fruit right you are going for a result definitely you know it will cause you suffering it will cause you pain it will be the cause of your spiritual death so in every role play of your life you are playing the role of a parent not to have your child do very well in life because i want to realize my potential as a parent you are playing the role of a spouse not because you want something out of it love or respect or money or care because i want to live my potential as a spouse you're living as a child not because i want my parents to love me or take care of me or no i want to live my role play as a child in a business in my workplace as a friend in all the roles i'm living my true intention of you are more now how to connect to the life purpose first focus on your environment you have to first open your eyes to see the environment right in front of you which is the place you are born where do you belong what is your family who are you and you have to be in complete acceptance of your environment to find your life purpose you don't have to go to some astrologer or you don't have to see some you know charts you don't have to see some akashic records for that all you need to know yourself and you cannot know yourself till you are in rejection of your environment you have to first honor the environment where you are born if you don't honor your birth you don't honor your place you don't honor your society you cannot discover yourself like tell me something will it produce a coconut tree in a desert will it produce a kangaroo in south india so nature knows na where to produce what right so if it has produced you in some family in some culture it is right for you. so first is you have to be in complete acceptance of your environment and for this you have to meditate on your muladhara chakra see ultimately it is strengthening of the five chakras which will connect to you to your life purpose when i first said what are the fears that prevent you it's also the fears of the five chakras what will connect you to your life purpose is also the fruits of the five chakras the fears are also of the five chakras the benefits are also of the five chakras so first is 
that you have to completely ground yourself in the here and now. Connect with your family, connect with your society, connect with the present. And for this, meditate, self-introspect, clear your fears, clear your beliefs. The cleansing meditation I teach is by far the most effective meditation. In this I tell you, just look at your fears, feel your fears and release your fears. So you have to feel your fears related to acceptance of the present, that this present is not what I like. I'm not in the right family, I don't have those type of means, I don't have that type of support, I don't have this, I don't have this. You have to see every negativity that is stopping you from connecting to your environment. You have to feel it and let it go. Unless you feel it, it will not go. That's the beauty. Giving you a lecture will not make it go. You have to feel it and you have to release it. That will help you grow your roots, become stable, become supported. That whatever it is, my parents have supported me to come where I have reached here. They have supported me to the best of their ability, to the best of how life has designed that to be. I am supported by my body. Accept your body. Accept the society around you, accept your condition, accept your present. It is what it is, finished, no definition. So that is focus on your environment. You cannot find your life purpose if you have got any ripple in your consciousness which is taking you away from yourself. And only when you are totally grounded, you have to be totally satisfied with where you have reached today. If you were late, you would not have realized it today. You are never late, you are never early, always at the right time. The late and early are definitions of the mind, not of the soul. Every season happens at the exact time. People can predict the date of rains, date of cyclones, they can predict. Why? Because nature follows time. So if you think you are late or early, it's a figmentation of the mind. So first is in contentment, ground yourself to the here and now. Second, focus on yourself. Just find that what are the natural gifts and traits that life has blessed you with. Do you like to listen? That people come and talk to you and you like to listen? Or you are a person who likes to teach? Right? Or you are a person who likes to trade, get something, give it to somebody. Or you are, a, you are a person who likes to make people laugh. Or you are a person who likes to make the world a very beautiful place. Or you are a person who likes fashion. You like that people admire her. Or you are a person who likes to give direction to people and command and rule the people. You have to find your traits. If necessary, take a book and start writing about yourself. You will be surprised that when you start writing, so many things will come out that you didn't know about yourself. Start writing what you like, what you don't like, what are your beliefs, what are your priorities, how do you want to see the world. So every person will have his way of looking at life based on what is his life purpose. And you have to start writing and finding your opinions that I believe in this, but people believe in this. It's okay. He believes, I believe. I have to honor both of them. It's not that his belief will change my belief or my belief will change his. It's okay. Both are right. So you have to start writing. You have to start finding the distinct quality in you. And I'm telling you, it will not take time to find your life purpose. Just find that where all you have been appreciated, acknowledged, awarded for being who you are. If in school you got award for being the smartest person or the best talker or the person who was most friendly or in sports, maybe that is giving you some hint. 
to find your life purpose also you should see that from childhood till today what are my non negotiables what are things i don't want to compromise on what are the things that pull me what are my priorities for that is very important to even meditate it is important to make yourself happy shop for yourself you should pamper yourself you should do things for yourself whole life you do things for others i see so many people they have never shop for themselves they have only whatever they have they will shop for their family but your life purpose you will come to know when you make yourself satisfied right and when you are happy when you are fulfilled you will create abundance for everybody around you so it is very important that whatever you like to do spend time and i'm not telling spend whole life don't think you're going to be selfish in fact you're going to be a right person and the moment you connect to yourself you will connect to that trait of yours that is totally selfless you're totally selfless from inside so you have to spend that time spend things on yourself spend time on yourself buy things for yourself make a diary write down your thoughts write down your traits write down your wishes write down your expressions it's very important third after swadishtan chakra where you connect with yourself you become responsible you cannot find your life purpose till you are blaming somebody yourself or someone above you have to become responsible for your life it is just the act of saying i am responsible it's the act i'm not telling do big things just it's the act that whatever is happening to me and whatever has happened to me till now i am responsible and i'm ready to take responsibility being responsible is very different from putting a blame on somebody you can't say that i have done my mistake i'm not good enough that's not being responsible that yes i did like this i did not do this or this person did this it's okay now i am a responsible person to correct whatever has happened either i forgive or either i digest it or i let go i don't have to keep on you know harping about it you know or pointing fingers and not have that connection with myself which is most important so what is very important is become responsible to shape your life the way it is supposed to be shaped no dependency on anyone no responsibility for anyone and that will empower your manipur chakra fourth very important you have to look at all your desires every single desire of yours and you have to release them and make the primary purpose of self realization your only motive and goal in life every other desire has to surrender to this intention once you follow your life purpose of i want to realize my fullest potential everything will follow you everything will start running after you you will travel also because it is your nature to be pleasant happy to have a family time it's your nature to learn to experience it's your nature so instead of making it like i want it make it your nature my nature is to realize my fullest and highest version and for that i'm experiencing everything so every single desire of yours has to be aligned to or has to surrender to the main motto or the main purpose of life which is you are more aur uske liye kya karna hai we have to meditate and we have to realize and you have to empower you have to nurture it like a small plant i am more i am more i am more you have to nurture and you have to feel excited about it and fifth thing you have to seek inwards in order to connect to your life purpose 
you cannot be a person who is comparing yourself with others. Right? You cannot be a person who is comparing, judging, feeling low or feeling higher. You have to go inwards. He has his story, she has his story, they have their story, this is my story. Everything is a story and story is never good or bad. Sudama had a story, Krishna had a story. Valmiki had a story. Right? A story is never higher or lower. A king is not happier than his subjects. He is not more powerful than his soldiers or his wazir. Everyone is a different story. There are big masters and saints who have lived in poverty. And there are people who have lived in utter richness. It's not that they are higher and they are lower. It's a story. So stop looking at other stories, thinking that their story is better, their story is more fulfilling, more people know them, more people pray to them, more people praise them. No, it's their story. Finally, it is an expression of the creator. He has chosen how to work through you. You are nobody to define that this is better. I want this. I don't want this. You have to live the role play which is designed for you and that is the role play you have chosen. You have chosen. He has not chosen. You have chosen. And you have to surrender to the role play. So there is nothing higher, nothing lower, nothing more accomplished, nothing less accomplished, nothing success, nothing failure. It's a story. In this story, someone plays Kaurav, someone plays Pandav. Kaurav also reached heaven, right? In fact, Pandav first went to hell and later on they had to be requested to be sent to heaven. So understand, everyone has got a story that they have to play. So the lesson of the Vishuddha Chakra, which is the final chakra which makes you a guru in life, it makes you a, you know, learned person in life, which makes you the light of your life, is you have to seek inwards. So today if you are present here, it means that you are a person who is seeking his life purpose. Most of the people in this world, they are just in a sleeping state. They are just running. They don't know what life is all about. They think life is just about fulfilling some goals, seeking some fulfillment, that's it. How many of the people actually step aside and see what is this life all about? So I think you should all clap for yourself. <laughs> that today you have got that spark of spirituality where you want to know what is this life. Even that small spark is going to become a big flame in coming times. That's very good. Because out of all the people, there is just 1.5% people who go into spirituality. It's a, just a ratio. It's a very small percentage. Today, if there was a dance going on, disco dance, we would have, you know, they would have broken all the walls. If it was a singing program or a dancing program or an entertainment program, you see the number of people, they pull like flies. Or someone does magic and you know, you do magic, so many people come because everyone wants magic, everyone wants things very quickly. It's not easy, nothing is magic. I would like to say nothing is magic in this life, nothing. So people, if you are flocking to some guru also, some saint also, looking for some magic, please come out. Nothing will happen. There are so many gurus and people, you know, who are just giving false, you know, promises to people. You come to me, I'll give you this, this magic will, nothing happens. Everything you have to do hard work, nothing happens. Your exam, your marks will not come just like this, you will get 100 out of 100. You have to toil for it. It will not come by praying to God or praying to the teacher. You have to toil for it. Life is not different for someone and different for you, it's the same. So you cannot get to your life purpose or you cannot get to what you are destined to get because of something outside of you. You have to work on yourself.
so don't expect magic or miracle or a shortcut not possible even if brahma comes down he can't say that i will just touch your hand and you will become suddenly enlightened or powerful it will not happen it is happening in its own course of time it will happen if the purpose of life was that you have to be self realized you would have been born self realized why life will create such a game right everyone would be enlightened and prosperous and happy right but that is not like how life is designed life has said you will be born like a child you will grow up slowly 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 and you will realize that's the nature of life you can't go against it so don't expect magic or miracle just flow with life the purpose of life is that you have to flow with its intention and it will take you along if suppose an ocean is going and if there are waves in the ocean if the waves go along with the ocean will they get more energy and speed or not so you have a choice to go with the ocean or to go against the ocean and develop stress negativity diseases strain in your life it's a choice but definitely because the intent of life is like that it will give you so many problems that ultimately you will surrender and you will come back here you start flowing with life it is a process but the process starts with that you connect with the purpose of life that you are